Well, um, so in this case, you know, one thing we always look into is seeing if we could factor um, something out. And, and you could go ahead and, and factor out a 4 out of this, and that might make things you know, easier to factor it. But what I kind of notice is I, I think this might be a perfect square trinomial. Obviously, that's the part of the course. So before I even go and factor it out, factor out the 4 and use another factoring technique, um, I might want to go and look at this and say, oh, well, could I actually, um, could I possibly factor this out using my perfect uh, square trinomial? So normally, when we're talking about perfect square trinomial, we a lot of times do not have an a, our coefficient for our x squared. But our a, actually, in this case, would be like this. But now, if I have a coefficient, well, then that's going to be like a b x squared. And now, it's going to have to be 2 times a times bx plus a squared. So again, what we need to do is take the square root of 2 and 4, or I'm sorry, 4 and 16, and make sure 2 times those two numbers multiplied is going to equal 16. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 16 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Multiplied by 2 is going to give us 16. So therefore, this is a perfect square. So to solve, I'll set equal to 0. And so therefore, since I need to multiply by the same term, right? remember a perfect square trinomial provides us with a binomial squared, meaning it's going to be the same factor multiplied by itself. I know that my first two terms have to be 2x and 2x, because 2x times 2x is 2x squared. And my other first two terms have to be 4 and 4. And again, if we just go ahead and check our work by um, FOIL, we can see that that's going to provide us with that uh, binomial. Now, then I can rewrite this as a binomial squared. So it's 2x plus 4 squared. Now I can go ahead and solve. So take the square root of both sides. 0 equals 2x plus 4. Subtract 4, subtract 4. Negative 4 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals negative 1 half. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor or solve by factoring a perfect square. Thanks.